Huh, believe it or not, I actually thought I'd never be here. I feel kind of like the gentleman over there. I don't really have a question. It's been answered by being here. I was sitting over there thinking back and forth of what I would ask when I got up here and every time someone else came, I had an answer. And lately, that's the way it's been for me. I ask a question, I have the answer. Yeah. Life is full of your answers and the others that you're roaming around with are full of them too, aren't they? Yeah. It's always working out for you. You just got to pay attention. Yeah. When I went and saw you in New York a few weeks later, I got the thing in the mail that said, everything is always working out for me backwards. So you could see it in the reflection of the windshield. And I yeah. carried that forever. Yeah. And also I find myself in the morning turning on the teachings, listening. And I think what I realized was my whole life, I have been listening to other people's perception of life and what they chose to believe. It never felt right to me. So I ended up going the opposite. But isn't that helpful? When you hear something that doesn't feel right, isn't that helpful? Absolutely. Isn't the contrast helpful to you? Absolutely. Yeah. And that's the amazing part for me that I actually find myself enjoying the contrast. Five days ago, I got in an argument with a friend I'd had for four years. We discussed being partners in business, best friends, all this kind of stuff. And then uh, something had happened. I made a decision and they made it mean something completely different. The more I tried to share with them that that's not me, that was not my intention, the more they fought to hang on to what they were wanting to think. And I'm thinking to myself, wow, you really must want to be unhappy and miserable when I'm telling you I care about you and I want to do this, yet you want to believe that there's some ulterior motive behind it. And I found... And yet, was, what's interesting is they were misunderstanding you and you were misunderstanding them and then they were misunderstanding you misunderstanding them. <laughs> yeah. In other words, because you're saying you must be really miserable and unwilling to accept how much I love you. So what were you looking at? What were you promoting with that thought? You were promoting their inability to see you. So of course okay. they couldn't. You were right. They were doing it too, but your seeing them was doing it sealed the deal. Yeah. Yes, exactly. And then the great part about it in the middle of that, it was like I could stop and realize exactly that, what I was doing. And then I would say, look, you're perfect just the way you are. You don't need to change anything. I said, if I lived your life, saw what you saw, believed what you believed, I would be doing and saying exactly what you're doing and saying right now. But can you feel the futility in trying to fix it with words? Mm -hmm. Actually, yes. Esther is almost giving this up, this trying to control someone else's perception mm -hmm. because you just can't explain it enough. What was your takeaway from this? Honestly, that I'm responsible for everything that happens to me and how I feel and by watching. Yes, you are. But there's another piece that we really want to lay on here in a way that you can really feel it. You are responsible and, and you've also been doing extremely well. You're responsible, not in a guilty, regretful, I did this to me way, but I'm responsible in that I can get it as good as I decide I want it to be way. Can you feel the difference yes, in that? Yes. And that's where I've been lately. And it's like, I find myself wanting to cry for no reason, but then it used to be, I feel bad, but now I realize what that is. That's being connected, joy, realizing. The reason that we wanted to have a conversation with you, as you say, you really didn't have a question that was so active that it was in the air, but what was active within you is your desire to be validated in your rightness. <laughs> now we're not doing that by calling you up here because you're the only one who can validate yourself in your rightness. Right. You see, I agree, but we want you to feel the alignment that is within you, that is carrying you forward in a very positive way. And our encouragement to you is don't try to explain too much of it to anyone else. Let it be a sort of secret society inside of you mm -hmm. where you come into alignment with who you are and your love for yourself and then for them that your love for yourself and then for them just sort of carries the vibrational day. This is the thing that we most want you to hear. You see, we understand all of you. We know exactly where you are, every one of you, in relationship to where you want to be. We can see a clear path from where you are to where you want to be. And we are projecting it to you at all times. It's always being flowed to everyone. 
and some of you are ready to receive it and some of you aren't at different times you're getting different pieces of it and what we want you to take away from this conversation is if source energy is aware of what everyone wants and not able to make them see if they're not ready to see then why are you wasting your breath trying to get them to see when they're not ready to see I yeah I've come to that conclusion myself lately so rather than having a debate with them about it just acknowledge well they're not in the receiving mode yet but goodness is coming to them and they deserve well-being and I'm so enjoying their process as I am enjoying my process so rather than being a fixer which you kind of are you're kind of a fixer and the reason that you are a fixer is because you're really smart you've lived a lot of life and you've got good ideas about a lot of things and it's why people like your leadership they do we want you to lead by vibration because you lead through the clarity of your example but if you will just think in terms just for a little while about leading by vibration instead of by words leading by vibration leading by intention leading by alignment I understand yeah kind of more like leading by example lead by alignment what what I do resounds louder than anything I could say but how you feel which is evidence of your vibration is truly what is causing the resounding understood but when you try to do it with your words you get in the way of your true vibration because your words cause a reaction from people that you don't need to have in your mix can you hear that mm -hmm if you are aware of your vibration and you're carrying it and you're thinking these silent positive thoughts about people without them even knowing it making lists of their positive aspects and rooting for their success and for your own but rooting for their success but don't tell them mm. don't tell them because they will argue for their own limitations and then you'll get in an arguing match about how good they really are <laughs> it's so irritating people just won't accept how good they are and then you lose your connection as you're trying so hard to convince them of that mm -hmm. and convince yourself a little bit about it too you see yeah in order for me to do that I have to stop feeling good seems like you can't do both you cannot uh -huh. focus upon something can't that isn't. be mad and feel good at the same time and you can't focus upon something that isn't happening and allow it to happen at the same time so mm -hmm. as you begin to accept this vibrational world and you do more of this inner work and secret projecting of well-being upon the unsuspecting others <laughs> then they don't argue with you about it they might say what are you smiling about <laughs> Yeah. I say what are you so happy about? I do hear that sometimes they might say why is everything always working out for you they might ask you some of those kinds of questions but you won't elicit from them defensiveness or justification about where they stand because you see this is one of the things we really like giving this to you this is an important piece that we've not talked about ever before in this way and you're gonna hear it in a way that you've never heard it before awesome. the very negative emotion that you feel is evidence of the love that source has for you because it's relational if source were not adoring you in this red-hot minute upon whatever subject you are upon your divergence from that love could not be felt if the love were not there the divergence from it could not be felt this is an important thing to know so as you realize that your emotions are always about you're letting in this abundance and well-being that's flowing to you or holding it out to some degree then you begin to understand that it is a vibrational world and that these are vibrational or thought adjustments that you're wanting to make not action ones now think about this think about how much easier it would be so let's say that you are witnessing someone who is not very good at whatever it is they're doing and they know it and they're down on themselves about it but you've been practicing your alignment and you are seeing the world through the eyes of source a bit and you know that whatever they're living is temporary in other words you have true compassion you know what true compassion is true compassion is being in alignment with source and looking at someone in the middle of a mess because you don't see the mess you just see the opportunity you just see the perfection of their life experience you don't lose your connection because your connection is so strong so 
let's say that you're tuned in tapped in turned on and you're witnessing someone who's having a hard time about something and you rush in and you say it's okay it'll get better and they say no it won't now you're reacting to what they are saying back to you and now if you're like most people you'll get twirled up in that but let's say instead you're witnessing it but you are so wise you say nothing <laughs> you just know that when you see some child trying to walk and he's really new at it and he falls down you don't say get up you little dummy and you also would be better off if you didn't say oh that's all right you'd be better off if you just leave him alone because he's gonna get up his desire to walk is gonna get him on his feet he's been watching you walking around he doesn't need your words he's been watching you walking around he's got the idea of it you hold him up and give him a little balance no get away from him leave him alone let him figure it out he's figuring it out he's watching he's learning from your example you see so now your example instead of focusing with him upon his deficiency instead you're standing back and knowing the big picture and knowing that all is well it is in that attitude that those around you will thrive most you see your attention to their problems either causes their further attention to their problem or their defensiveness that you've noticed their problem don't you know that so in this conversation we've taken this thought into a new place as we've been together today and think about it is not almost everyone you know reacting to what they are living rather than aligning with source energy and then acting from that place of alignment so ask yourself this is going to help you because this is a room full of uplifters and teachers and healers you have come into this life experience you want to uplift others but when you hit it so head-on when you don't get out ahead of it energetically or vibrationally and instead you try to accomplish it through your words or through your actions it backfires almost every time because you amplify the very thing you did not mean to amplify can you hear us yes. so when you see your children or your lovers or your peers or your co-workers when you see them or hear them struggling amid something just take your leave from their physical presence as quickly as you can run into the woods go running into the woods <laughs> and find your alignment as quickly as you can about them and think about their connection with source energy think about their inner being think about their vortex think about what they are asking think about their potential for success think about their well-being do it vibrationally and then notice the next time you see them there is an improvement when you are with them and the next and the next and the next and the next and then you'll hear someone say to you you know I just feel good being around you and you'll know that it's because you see them through your eyes of source as they really are and you are adding to the momentum of that actually everything you just said over the last several weeks I've been experiencing that with like my family doing what you said with the child walking all I ever wanted to do was try and do my best and it seemed people were doing that and I'm finding that instead of thinking of the things that made me angry or hurt me or why don't you do this I just I start that and I feel bad I don't like it and then I start thinking you know you're the most generous person you were always there when I called you you always told me I was loved and cared for so it's almost as like you said about the buffet everything is here it's up to me to decide what to look at and if I want to see that in someone I care about then I need to see that not Yes. what I think they yes need. yes and yes but can you feel how the primary reason that you continue to feel misunderstood is because you're trying to use words when only vibration will do yes. and this is the thing that we're wanting you to realize is that your words can't be heard if someone's not in the receptive mode of your words and so the best you can do is get into vibrational alignment with who you are where you are understanding yourself 
so you're looking for your understanding from your inner being not looking for it from someone who cannot give it to you does this make sense and then it comes full circle because you're looking for understanding but they can't find it and then you don't have it and then you lose your way or you can withdraw from that and not look for understanding or love or anything in all the wrong places instead look for it where it is and find it and then go from there